targets. <laughs> what do you saw on the offense side? I mean, one James had a spectacular game. What do you say? Can you say about the offense team? I think we just need to come out next week and just execute better. As a whole, we just need to get better just down in distant situations in the fourth and fourth quarter moments of the game and just keep getting better in those aspects. And the same question I asked to the other two players. What is the best game stage today that Tennessee fans left the stadium very disappointed today? Jimmy, David, and Wes. Marcus, you, you, you pretty much had the game in, in, in check and probably should have won it. How deflating do you think this loss might be for this team? I would call it more motivating, actually, because we just know that we have the capability, you know, we can fight as a team, just to come back and just execute and finish. This was, so, I mean, I'm sure it's a, it's a combination of different things, but some of those red zone scoring range <coughs> kind of issues, is, is that just, I mean, I know it's bad execution, but is it different things at different times, or is there kind of one theme that's been causing problems there? I don't have to watch the film answer that fully, but honestly, probably one person. Because that's what it usually is when I watch film, just one person out of 11 that's making a mistake and it just costs the whole team. Even then, like, just the emotions after this game, how does it kind of compare to what y'all went through after the game last week? Do you have a different outlook coming out of this game than the last week? Or? They're both a loss, so it was both a learning experience, but for this one, I felt like we fought a lot better as a team. And we were just really just trying to come together a lot more. Like, Marks, uh, how do you think you were able to establish the run uh, as well as you did tonight? And I guess, um, how much do you feel like maybe that's an improvement over last week? When we're running the ball, we're not really like thinking of like the yards or something like that. We're just truly really trying to just control the ball and just control the game, and just control the clock. So I feel like we did it at good times and like certain moments of the game, but then sometimes when we really needed it, we just didn't get it done. So. Like, even though we had a lot of yards, like, in the critical moments that we needed, we didn't get it done. So I feel like we did as well as we needed to. David? Uh, when you guys did get it done, what, what did you feel like was different? Why did you feel like you guys were effective uh, early in the game? Just the one-two. Just having a one-two this game. Just the attitude of the whole locker room. So it was just different. Sure. Well, so when you were running the football like you were tonight, how much confidence did you guys have out there? They call us confidence. We just keep telling ourselves we just have to keep going, just keep going, just keep going, just keep pushing, just keep pushing. Uh, right here in front. Um, you said there was more one two in this game. Why would there have been less one two in the first game? Unnecessarily one two. It's just we know that we got embarrassed the first game, so it's even as motivation. Marcus, you, you had a lot of success running outside the tackle. Was that the game plan to try to get on the perimeter, or did that evolve during the course of the game? Yes, sir. We game plan because we knew they were big in the middle, so we knew we got to get them running sideline to sideline, get them tired, and get them to run. Let's go ahead and then we'll pile it. As one of the older guys on the team, how do you help make sure that this thing doesn't start spiraling the wrong way? Because you know, when things get to a moment like this, you know, y'all can either kind of rally around each other or it can go the other way. How do you make sure there's a positive outcome to it? I've been through worse here. We've all been through worse here. We've seen worse. So it's just just putting the positive in. We fought. We just need to continue to fight because it's really not the end. SEC play still hasn't started. We still have a lot of room to improve. We just we only have room to grow, and that's a good thing to look at. Kyle, the, the Georgia State loss, you guys can kind of see it coming. Georgia State dominated the second half here. It was a big play, overtime. They come back and they, they score late. Kind of your emotions. And, you know, it's one thing to rebound from Georgia State, but it's another one of the difficult overtime loss, couple overtime loss. Where are you at mentally, personally? Just continue to work because, like, I knew we did better. I just know it's a little thing. So, I'd rather be able to focus on little things than like know there's like a gigantic issue at the end. Take a couple more, Jesse. Go ahead. Marty, you talked this summer just about kind of being sick of losing. You know what? What was maybe the attitude or message in the locker room after that? After such a loss like that? I feel like now people aren't accepting me anymore. I'm starting to see like a little more like motivation throughout the locker room. Just people know that we can continue to fight. We can be good. We just have to finish in the right moments. Steve, you talked about the little things that need to be corrected. What were some of the specific things? Y'all need to do better. When the four-minute drill, that's what happened. Take a couple more. Two more. Blake, go ahead. Bob. Marcus, there's a fourth and one play there in the fourth quarter in the end around. Josh Palmer got stopped. He kind of takes through that play and um, just looking back on it, maybe he wish you had a chance over. I just had an offense to get the first down. We would love to have the first down, but to be able to judge the whole play, I'd have to watch it on film. Thanks, Marcus. Thanks, Marcus. Have one more.